Hi everybody, welcome to uh, Learning Mathematics Heuristics with me this. Today we're going to be talking about a very, popular, a very popular concept that is tested in school and that is the remainder concept. And there are three types of remainder concept. Today we're going to be dealing with the first type of remainder concept. Alright, in this kind of questions, there is usually the word remainder in it. And the first part of the question usually is given that you're given a proportion. Alright, let's get into the question to understand more of how we can solve such a question. So we're going to be doing our remainder concept type 1. Now let's take a look at the question. Now one of the most important words that we have to really look out for here is the word remainder. Now once we see the word remainder, then we will immediately think of a remainder concept. Now in this particular question, there are three variables as you can see. The silver medal winners, bronze medal winners and gold medal winners. Now, usually in schools, teachers will teach students to draw models uh, to solve such a problem. Um, it works well, it is fine, but uh, more often than not, schools will give questions that require students to deal with very large denominators. And as such, model drawing may not be the best method forward. Hence, today I'm going to introduce to you um, the branching method in solving such a problem sums. Now, one third of the winners were silver medal winners. So we're going to draw a branch to show silver medal winners and that is one third. Now, of course, the other side is going to be the remainder, which will, of course, be two third. Now, it is always important to note that every branch must add up to be one whole. All right, so silver medal winners, one third. The remainder would be two thirds. Now, from here, we can see the next sentence. Four fifth of the remainder won bronze medals. So we need to branch out from the remainder, all right, and of which four fifth are bronze medal winners. So we can see from here that we have four-fifth bronze. Now the rest won gold medals. So the rest here would be one-fifth, again stemming from what we have learned just previously, that every branch must add up to be one whole. Now we are also given an absolute number that the difference between bronze and gold medal winners is 60. Now to solve such a question, we need to know the final fraction for bronze and gold medal winners. To do this, we need to find the bronze medal winners where we will find 4 fifth of 2 third, which of course means 4 fifth multiplied by 2 third, and that will give you 8 over 15 of all the winners apparently are bronze medal winners. So altogether there are 15 units of winners, 8 of which won the bronze medal. For gold medal winners, there's 1 fifth of 2 thirds, and again we will repeat this, 1 fifth multiplied by 2 third, and it will give us 2, fifth, two over 15. Now that means again there are 15 units of winners of which two of them are gold medal winners. Now what we need to do since we are talking about the difference here, the 60 is the difference between bronze and gold, so we're going to subtract the fraction for bronze and gold medal winners. So in this case 8 over 15 minus 2 over 15 that will give us 6 over 15. All right. Now some students will go that 6 units is 60 and 1 unit will give us 10 15 units altogether, that will give us 150. Alternatively, we could take the number 60 and divide it by 6 over 15, and this will give us 150. So this is how we normally solve remainder concept 1 questions.